A news alert tonight. For the first time, an admission. Attorneys for James Holmes revealed in a written filing with the courts that he committed the acts at the Century 16, Century 16 Theater nearly a year ago. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger tracking those new developments tonight. Marshall? In this court filing, Mike, the attorneys for James Holmes are making at least one argument for why he shouldn't be harnessed during the trial. And in this one argument, for the first time, Holmes, through his attorneys, admits that he committed the acts on July 20th, 2012, the shootings that could result in his own death. Attorneys for James Holmes want him to sit without restraints during his projected four-month trial next year. In a previous order, the judge ruled Holmes will not be in handcuffs or shackles. Instead, he will wear a harness under his clothing, which will not be visible to the jury. In a filing posted today, Holmes's attorneys argue that he's not a danger to the safety of the courtroom and should not be restrained. In making that argument, his attorneys reveal for the first time Holmes admits to the killings. Quote, Mr. Holmes suffers from a severe mental illness and was in the throes of a psychotic episode when he committed the acts that resulted in the tragic loss of life and injuries sustained by moviegoers on July 20th, 2012. It's not surprising. We've all known... Uh, since he pleaded not guilty by a reason of insanity that they were going to admit the acts. Legal analyst Dan Reck believes the defense team is simply being honest with the judge. The defense telling the judge Holmes should not be restrained because he had no criminal history prior to a shooting that was the result of a mental illness. They're not going to dispute who did this. The question's going to be was Holmes psychotic and, uh, and, and therefore was he insane? Today, the judge in this ruling giving the defense a bit of a tongue lashing, saying that the court remains confident that the order to keep those restraints hidden on James Holmes will in no way interfere with any of Holmes's constitutional rights. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7.